Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. Just feel good. It's done jazz. All right, you all. Today we are working with Wiggins hair. Y'all, they sent over this 28-inch loose deep bay wig that comes out the box ready to wear. The knots are fully bleached, the hairline is pre-plucked to perfection, and you have that wonderful HD full 13 by 4 lace. All right, y'all, let's install this fresh out the box. Say hello to your favorite muse, Nisha. We are back at it again. As you can see, I'm using my Ruby Kisses Level 13, the darkest shade of the palette, and we're gonna put that all over the lace. Like I said in the previous voiceover, I'm installing this wig fresh out the box. I did not bleach these knots. I did not pluck this wig. I didn't even wash the wig. I took the wig straight out the box, y'all, just to show y'all. How I install this is how you're gonna be able to install it. Only thing I did was hot comb the hairline to the back. That's all I did. I did not pluck this wig. I didn't bleach it. I didn't condition it. I didn't bleach no knot. I didn't do nothing. This is strictly straight out the box. Like, Wiggins is coming out the gate with the fire. Straight out the box, you don't have to do nothing but slap the wig on. And it comes with combs and adjustable straps on the inside, so you can wear it glueless as well. So you don't even have to glue it down. Like, this wig is perfect for the people who do not have time to be customizing no wig. It comes fresh out the box, ready to go. And do you see that hairline? They did that big one, y'all. So right now, I'm just sewing the wig down and positioning it on her head where I want it to lay. I've already applied the glue in the shape of her hairline and now I'm smoothing it back. Make sure you smooth this back as evenly as possible. You don't want any lumps or clumps in your glue. And make sure that each layer turns clear before you apply the next. Today we did four layers, so I'm going to come back in the next clip once that fourth layer is clear. And we're going to proceed to lay that lace down right about now. Go ahead and lay that lace down. Use the teeth of your comb and your muse or client to help you position this wig perfectly into place. You wanna make sure that the hairline of the wig is a little bit in front of the line where the glue stops. Now we're just blow drying the lace interchanging between warm and cool air on high speed. And once we do this for about 30 seconds to a minute, we're gonna tie it down with our elastic band. Make sure you keep that elastic band tied down for at least 10 minutes. You can use heat or no heat. Our 10 minutes are up, so let's go ahead and cut off the excess lace. As you can see, baby, the lace is lacing. Shout out to Wiggins hair. Jury in the 
Now you let me know what company you gonna get this much scalp fresh out the box. No extra customization. Shout out to Wiggins Hair, man. So today we're gonna be doing a side part with baby hairs on each side. We're just gonna keep this very simple. And you know, we're just gonna mainly show off the loose deep wave texture. So right now I'm just parting up my baby hairs on each side and just watch. Sticking on your backstage pass, all access, cause you bad. You could go wherever with that ass. Show to the shower, to the truck, truck to the club for the party. You go in first with your girls, cause I don't know who's out there watching. But I do know one thing, yo. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday, Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day, maybe we'll someday grow. Being that her lace is already blended, we're just going to use a light, flexible whole hairspray. So today we're going to use our hair flex from Straight Repress. And we're going to tie that down for a good 5 to 10 minutes while we finish pre-styling this wig. Her minutes are up, so let's go ahead and take that elastic band off. As you can see, baby, the lace is melted. Let's get into doing these baby hairs. You already know we're going to hot comb them, cut them, curl them, and swoop them, and tie them down. <laughs> and we're going to do that on both sides. I am using my Influence Honey Almond Foam, and we're just going to swoop those baby hairs into place. This is my all-time favorite foam to use for molding the baby hairs because it does not lift the lace, and um, it just does what needs to be done. I don't really like Nairobi like that because it doesn't have a great hold. This has an amazing hold, and it's alcohol-free. And it works great on natural hair as well as wigs. So get you some Influence Honey Almond Foam. So before we put her up under the dryer, I wanted to find her hair a little bit more as we've been manipulating it a lot while installing this wig. I'm just gonna use my mist spray bottle. It only has water in it. And you're just gonna mist the hair and run your fingers through it until you get the, the fine look that you are going for. And I like to do this that way when she comes back from the dryer, her hair is defined, but it's not wet. <laughs> Especially in these winter months, your clients do not want to leave the salon with a wet head. <laughs> we have an old superstition that wet hair in the winter time gets you sick so nobody wants wet hair on their head and then the wind starts blowing and it's cold so we want to go ahead and define that hair and then put them up under the dryer or diffuse it she is now back from the dryer so let's take those wrap strips off and today i'm going to actually show you how i customize the baby hairs to get a more polished look i never just take the wrap strips off and leave them how they is i always go in and customize them some more. So just watch.
To define her part, I'll be using the Clairol Root Touch-Up pen in the dark brown color, being that this wig is a natural, it's a natural brown black color, more so on the black side, but it's not jet black. So I'm going to use my dark brown pen just to define that part. And I'm also going to add some powder in the part as well. And then we're going to spray that with our Eva hairspray and blow dry it. And we're just going to lock that into place. This just gives a more defined look. This is also optional. You don't have to do this, but my clients like a more defined part, a more dramatic look, if you would have you. We're going to spray her hair with Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray to give it a beautiful gloss. And then we're going to take out our No Bend Hair Clips, y'all. And this hairstyle is going to be done. Like I told y'all, this wig is fresh out the box. Let's get into that final look. Once again, I want to thank Wiggins Hair for sending me this bomb loose deep wave wig. Make sure you check the description box below for more information and links on how to purchase your own so you can be slaying like this fresh out the box. Happy 2024. We have more dope videos coming. I love you all. Goodbye.